Immigration tariffs, a lot going on nationally with the potential to impact tens of thousands of people here in the Mid-South. And here to talk about developments one-on-one -on -one tonight is West Tennessee Congressman David Kustoff. Congressman, thanks for being here. Thank you, Richard. Uh, the trade war hitting home, I don't have to tell you. The president recently ordered FedEx to stop accepting deliveries of fentanyl as part of this growing trade dispute with China. Food prices are going up. And West Tennessee farmers are worried tariffs on their, on their crops uh, will permanently damage business they do with China. Are you concerned that the president's continued escalations here on trade will hurt your district? Well, I, I've been out the last month or so since we've been in the district work period talking to people throughout West Tennessee, including farmers. And I, we've talked about this before. My district in West Tennessee, the 8th Congressional District, has more farmers than any other congressional district in the state. Right now, uh, I think the general attitude, not, not of everybody, but most is, most farmers, that they're willing to endure some short-term pain for longer-term gain as it relates to trading with China, because they see uh, the unfair uh, advantage that China's had. I think we can all agree, and certainly our farmers, that we want fair trade and free trade, but with China, it's a one-way street, and frankly, President Trump is the first president in recent memory, maybe maybe in a long, long time, that's taken China to the mat and is, and is fighting for American workers and American farmers. But you see the impact it's having on the economy. People are worried about these increased prices. Uh, FedEx wasn't exactly happy about the, uh, the shot across the bow on Twitter. Uh, what are you, your thoughts about that? You know, as it relates to fentanyl, uh, FedEx, and I've, I've had the discussion with FedEx, and I know this, they do a really good job uh, making sure that, that fentanyl is not shipped into the United States, into the ports of entry. We do have a lot of fentanyl coming in from overseas, from China, from Mexico, other countries, China in particular, but it's, it's not the private carriers like FedEx, it's the Postal Service. And we need to think through uh, how the Postal Service can inspect uh, those packages, give them the same degree of responsibility and liability that FedEx and other carriers have. There's so much talk about immigration as well, but not much about automation. Isn't that the real enemy of jobs in this country? And when you go back to D.C. after the August recess, are there any measures to deal with that? Say, for example, this U.S.-Mexico-Canada uh, trade agreement, which you support. Well, a couple things uh, on that question. I've had the same discussion with the chairman of the Federal Reserve as it relates to, to automation. And in fact, he sees uh, the two greatest threats to the workforce as being automation and the effect of opioids on the, on the population. As it relates to the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement, remember, uh, this is going to replace NAFTA. NAFTA is outdated. It was voted in in the early 90s, frankly, before we were all buying stuff on the Internet. The President's done a really good job, I think, negotiating deals with both Mexico and Canada for the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement. Both those countries have ratified the agreement. It'll be better for the American uh, uh, economy, for American workers, American manufacturers. I think it's a win-win, and I hope that Speaker Pelosi puts this on the floor when we go back in September so that we can get it done before we start getting into the midst of the presidential election. It becomes much tougher uh, over the next several months to get the big things done in Congress. Well, I thought we were already there uh, <laughs> in the midst of the presidential election. Thank you so much, Congressman, for coming in tonight. Thank you, Richard. Katina?